The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Year after year, we watch the threat steadily increase. And now, this winter has been the worst on record when it comes to our immune systems and health. For more than two years, InfoWarsLife.com has been watching this crisis intensify. And Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex was our answer. Using a proprietary process that takes ancient proven herbs and combines them with modern science, this powerful and affordable formula contains more than 14 key herbs and extracts, including Echinacea, ginger root, elderberry, golden seal root, a proprietary yin chio formula, and many, many more. I take it, and so does my family. It's made in the USA, gluten-free, alcohol-free, no artificial flavors or colors, and not tested on animals. Take advantage of this introductory offer for ancient defense, normally $19.95, now only $14.95. That's 25% off. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139 to secure your ancient defense. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high-quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy-to-use capsules. You will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Wild crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. You could accept the fact that this city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. You know, Katy Perry is a listener of this radio show. At least she was. Russell Brand has talked about that on air. Well, I've talked to her dad, who's also a listener and been on the show. I got to know him through Dave Mustaine, who's friends with him. He said, you know, her dad listens and they've listened and I ended up talking to Russell Brand one time when he was here in Austin, we were visiting. And he said, thank you very much, Alex. You did help me wake me up a bit. And I do listen and listened back when I was with Katie, some, but I doubt she listens now. So when I say all this, we're, we're reaching out and speaking to these people directly. And Katy Perry told Rolling Stone she'd like to join the Illuminati. We've got a new article up on InfoWars.com. Subliminal Super Bowl Illuminati secrets revealed. Pop singer has admitted to selling soul to Satan. That's not Katy Perry. That's another one that we've got linked there in the article. I mean, this is definitely occultic. 
Uh, you've got the checkered board of the high-level Masonic stuff. You've got the goddess riding in, the fire goddess riding the big lion. It ties into some of the highest levels of uh, Masonic masonry. We have links to the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. And the point is, every major pop star now does similar rituals. Or Madonna last year, where it was even more occultic, and she sits on the throne and is wearing all this Egyptian symbolism. When you study it, they believe in the law of intention or the secret, that, that, that whatever you believe ends up happening. And that happens to a certain extent if you then put it into action. But when they get hundreds of millions of people watching something, out of it they want a goal. And they have themes. And this theme was the goddess and the empowerment of women and women on top of things. But that was only at a subliminal subconscious level. The subconscious understands what these messages are without even having to de uh, decode them. So that people would then buy whatever else was being said openly or subliminally, which is joined with the new world order. It will empower you. It will give you salvation. When it's not going to do that. So whether it's the Grammys or the Emmys or uh, the Super Bowl, they're almost all occultic now. And it's all basically symbolizing, you know, where she flies around as a sperm, it's a star with a tail, then lands in the big egg, and then out of it comes a big stage. It's saying she's creating, she's procreating, she's building a world. And at a fundamental level, we see a beautiful young woman, the image of the goddess, the image of the virgin, the image of the whore, all wrapped together. It's extremely powerful. And all they're doing is programming archetypes here. And then you see the commercials. Put your daughter in the military. Dads aren't good because they work. Um, you know, being male and being strong hurts females. Um, I mean, it's just a very toxic assault. Extremely toxic assault. But there's a good breakdown of it at Infowars.com. Whoever wrote it didn't put a name on it. Did a Don write this? Or was it Watson? I want to find out who wrote this. It was a Don, I guessed it. Okay, I can tell his writing. Subliminal Super Bowl Illuminati secrets revealed. Pop singer is admitted to selling soul to Satan. You might want to go read it. And the message is men are just automatons. Men are just robots. Chess pieces and the goddess riding the great beast will control you and in the truth it'll just target women first the system hates creation the system hates life women are who the system's targeting first and foremost and men have turned the world over to evil men have let other wicked men sorcerers is what they are putting the public under a trance a high-tech mind control trance a spell Good men have allowed these, these people to take over. And if you're a Christian, a conservative, a libertarian, a gun owner, an anti-Federal Reserve activist, who is the Pentagon trained to fight? Us. Now, the military's really woken up. They're like, why are we trained to take on the good guys? They get it. But this is a world where they don't want women to be women, men to be men. And they claim that if you just exist as a heterosexual male or you exist as a heterosexual healthy female that that hurts other people that aren't into that and, that and that you need to accept it and promote it or you're hurting them. The truth is you've always had people that were, quote, genetically or naturally attracted to the same sex or whatever. And historically, when societies are about to collapse, that intensifies for whatever reason. But they're artificially pushing it. They're artificially putting chemicals in food and water that are known to flip switches in the hypothalamus and other glands to make women hyper-feminine and desire women and to basically make men desire men. The Pentagon was working on these chemicals and successfully developed what they call a gay bomb. And the media always attacks me on this when I talk about it because they know I'm hitting right at the heart of their program. Uh, frogs, uh, shrimp, uh, are becoming either asexual or bisexual. And the end goal is 
asexual. They don't want you to be sexual at all. Scientists developed gay bomb to make enemy soldiers stop fighting and make love. And you can spray these chemicals on a man. And uh, within a few days, they will begin to uh, smell the pheromones of other men. And it will f t trick them and they won't know why they're attracted to men. I mean, this is, this is chemical warfare, ladies and gentlemen. And just know you're under it. Be honest about it. So much of this stuff runs off that they're worried about frog populations collapsing because it's just devastating. And women, you should worry about being hyperfeminized because it makes your sexual organs accelerate their aging sometimes at about five times the pace. Usually just a doubling. That's why you got 25-year-old women getting breast cancer at record levels because you got the breast of an 80-year-old woman. Genetically, in the code, they still look just fine. Men's prostate, you're 50, you got the prostate of a 100-year-old man. Because these chemicals attack those tissues. Roundup grows cancers in them. You spray this stuff on frogs, folks, male frogs start humping each other. And they make all sorts of jokes, a Democratic Party-run stuff, MSNBC makes jokes out of it. It, it isn't funny. I'm going to tell the young Turks and people, it's not funny if your 14-year-old son gets testicular cancer. It's not funny if your 20-year-old daughter gets breast cancer. This isn't a game. This kills animals. Now, you may think a bunch of tumors growing all over you is cute. It's not cute. So we're getting jacked with. Get jacked with hard. Used to, puberty when women was average age 14. Now it's about nine. There are thousands of cases of three-year-olds and four-year-olds going into puberty. The doctors don't ever say, stop eating this, stop eating that. You know, what chemicals you're exposed to. They say, we're going to give your daughter chemicals to suppress her going into puberty. Now, you might want to find out why four-year-olds are going into puberty. Or is it just easier to make a joke about it on MSNBC or Young Turks or whatever? Because it's not funny, okay? All of you laughing will be touched by this. Guaranteed. So go ahead and laugh your butts off, okay? Go ahead and laugh long and hard. Don't ever say you weren't warned. Let's go to John, and then we'll uh, go to, uh, no, no, no. First, I want to go to Ned in Oregon, listening on KMED 880 AM. KMED, I don't ever remember getting a call on KMED 880 AM. I know it's one of our affiliates. Uh, where are you located, Ned? How are you listening? Uh, I'm listening on AM radio, and I'm uh, I'm located in Southern Oregon, Medford area. Well, please tell everybody about the show every day, brother. I do. I tell everybody, especially the police department, fire departments, everybody that's higher up that uh, that is ignorant about what's going on. I've tried to uh, enlighten the uh, lieutenants and the uh, higher people up that's that can uh, push the information around at those levels. Because I believe, like you said, that uh, eventually those are going to be the uh, trouble parts uh, the, that's going to, uh, you know, ignite uh, maybe other problems down the road for uh, the civilization. Uh, Absolutely. You know. Have you had any traction? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I want to say that the uh, the police department I'm dealing with is the Central Point Police Department, and they are uh, very hip people. They know about you, and they know what's going on. Well, that's what I was about to we say, though. That's what's incredible, and I'll let you get to your point. I don't know what it is. That's why I said we shouldn't fight with the police, even though there's major problems. They are, I'm not going to exaggerate, 20 times easier to wake up than the general public. Because they're in there. They know already a lot of this is true. Military, 20 times easier. And, and you, you have callers calling in going, nobody will listen to me. I guarantee you they're talking to a bunch of slobs. I mean, I'm not worried about people that want to suck their thumbs all day. You can knock the police, but at least they're out there engaging people. They're in the real world, and they're people that take action. They are ready to hear the truth. They usually already know what's going on and more than we know sometimes. And so that's what I thought I'd hear you say because that's my experience. No wonder George Soros wants us to start fighting with them because if they can just get that animosity going, that piece of crap is going to win. I believe so. Um, I want to say one thing before I continue on here. I need to talk to somebody in your organization about the uh, Emerald Tablets of Thoth uh, uh, by the uh, the Atlantean by Doriel. I just finished reading this, and this explains a lot about the uh, reptilian race and uh, 
And uh, I just need to express this to some people in your organization very quickly here before I get off the air. But um, I wanted to talk about basically, uh, uh, I just finished re- 